guys welcome to my channel code blogs in this video i want to discuss one more miscellaneous problem and the problem is find the string weight that means you have to find the weight of a string so here the question is you are given with a with weight of uh, weight array of each alphabet and a string your task is to find the weight of a string uh, here weight of string means product uh, product of weight of words and uh, weight of words means uh, sum of weight of alphabet so basically here we are given with one character array that contains the uh, weight of each alphabet okay and here string means uh, string uh, we are given with one string this one okay so basically how to find the weight of string in the question it is uh, given uh, weight of string means uh, the multiplication of weight of words here the words are two words wipro and limited okay and uh, the how to find the weight of words so basically weight of words means the sum of weight of alphabets okay so now here the the words are wipro and limited and one more thing one information available here given with the weight of uppercase and lowercase character is same okay that means small a is equal to capital a is equal to 50 okay and small z is capital z equals to 42 now now comes to the logic okay so how to solve this problem so basically first of all we have to create two hash map okay two hash map one is map one and another is map two map one contains uh, uh, small uh, smaller or you can say that lowercase character okay lowercase character and their and uh, and their weight okay key and value pair okay this is key and this is value and map 2 contains uh, upper case upper case character and their weight okay now this is the first task and now now second task is to you have to split the string okay you have to split the string uh, that means you have to split the string into the number of words okay using split method that means str dot split here uh, that means uh, in inside the bucket we are uh, here uh, we have two parameters one is an character uh, that uh, divides the string here uh, the string is divided into two words by an white case uh, sorry by an white space okay by an white space the string is divided so this is uh, one parameter another parameter is how many words you uh, you try to divide okay here the words is two and uh, we don't know in the in any other input we maybe don't know how many words are available in the string in that case you may write any number okay 10 2 or 20 if it is 2 then it only divided into two words if it is if you write here 20 that means it uh, it also divided into two words so after splitting uh, the uh, string we we are we uh, we return this thing return one string array okay this thing return one string array which contain uh, the uh, words this is the first word that means we pro and another contain uh, limited okay now is uh, now step 3 using for loop we, we have to access uh, this string elements okay and that means this words to access word alphabets access word and and fourth step you have to check that uh, in particular that means in case of wipro that uh, you have to check that um, this w in contains which map if it is contains um, map 1 or map 2 and uh, and after that you have to first of all you have to check and in second step you have to uh, fetch its uh, or you can say extract extracts its value 
using suppose it contains in map 1 that means uh, here it contains map 2 ok map 2 dot get and here you have to pass the w ok this is the key you have to extract the value and number 5 you have to store this value ok so, so suppose someone so basically someone is equal to someone plus map 2 dot get and, and this is suppose w and after that after finding and uh, the weight of every word and you have to multiply this word to get the final answer that means the weight of the string so at the result result section the weight of wipro is weight of wipro becomes 26 and limited is 7 so final answer is 26 and 7 is equal to 182 this is the answer so this is the main concept you have to remember one more thing the you have to create two map one contains lower case and its weight another contain upper case and its weight and you have to reminder one thing that the uh, weight of lower case and upper case uh, alphabet are same and number two you, uh, you have to split the um, string into words using this method okay and number three you have to access the word alphabet word uh, alphabet okay word alphabet and uh, number four you have to check that it contain only which map and extra you have to extract this value and store in this uh, many variable and after that um, getting the weight of the every word you have to multiply this word to get the answer now comes into the code section okay so basically here uh, in the main say in the main method we are given with uh, one array that contains the weight of each alphabet and here we are given with one string okay so now this is the function and we are passes the um, array length array and the string as the parameter and now first of all our first task is to create two map uh, for lowercase and alpha case character Now we have to declare a variable integer capital A is equal to 65 because the ASCII value of the A is 65 and now we have to take a for loop. Now we have to put uh, the character and uh, that means uh, A to Z as well as its uh, as well as its weight according to the array okay so map one dot root okay. and uh, this is the uh, here we in, uh, initialize a is equal to 65 so we have to here uh, type cast character and a okay and uh, comma and uh, the its length that means array of i according to the array order its weight so we here we uh, store its character and as well as its weight this is for uh, we have created map on for upper case and now we have to create another has map for lower case Here the ASCII value of the small a is 97. Okay. Map to dot put and uh, type cast character small a and uh, its weight array of y
now now we have to uh, split the uh, string okay and uh, uh, i have told earlier that the split method it returns an string array that contains the words so the here the name the uh, string array is split and str dot split okay and here you have to specify that by which character the string the that means uh, the words are different okay inside any string and so here the y and white space is uh, divided the words in the string and we have to uh, are given integer value that means how many words uh, you can uh, divided into the divided the string in how many words okay yeah, here I am, I am given a two, but my string only contains two words. It's no problem. Okay. And now I am printing the words. Okay. And now we have to access the word. This is uh, the st uh, split length. Okay. I plus plus. Now we have to take another uh, for loop and before. okay so now uh, this for loop that uh, this for loop uh, identifies uh, that means the here is string array that means split split contains uh, up, after splitting the string uh, the string array contains two words that means one is wipro and another is limited okay so th this uh, uh, for loop for uh, accessing the words okay the outer for loop for accessing the words now and here the each word is a string so we have to store the words string str uh, sorry strr and uh, it's a split of i okay now we are storing each word in into the this string variable okay and now we have to access another we have to create we have to take another for loop for accessing each uh, alphabet of the word of the each word okay we have to access the alphabet of each word using this inner for loop j less than split of i dot length okay or you can say uh, it's strr dot length and j plus plus and now we have to check that that uh, um, that uh, the um, uh, each alphabet or each character is present uh, whether it is present in map1 or map2 map1 dot contains contains key strr dot character at a pi okay if it is contained in map1 then we have to store it extracted value and store it sum1 sum1 is equal to sum1 plus map1 dot get and it's strr dot character at of i okay and if it is not it in the map1 not contains in the map1 then we have to extract its value from map2 and store again it's stored into the sum1 variable map2 dot get strr dot character at a pi sorry it's not i it is j r okay now exiting the inner for loop and outside of the inner for loop you have uh, so after this inner for loop uh, you are ready that means you uh, you calculate the uh, weight of words okay so you have to multiply it okay so sum 2 is equal to sum 2 into sum 1 
and now I am printing each word weight of each word okay <coughs> so some uh, system dot out dot print and weight of what up each one okay and one more thing we have to add concatenate someone now again we have to initialize someone as zero because after after uh, calculating the first weight of first word we have to again calculate the weight of second word the, for this for that reason we have to initialize again someone as zero here and now here we are printing the multiplication result okay so system dot out and dot print okay and uh, its results uh, print ln and uh, here multiplication and not uh, multiplication weight of string okay weight of string sum two okay now check output okay click on i think uh, one error has occurred okay oh, okay sorry i have just forgotten to given plus plus okay are you have to increment so first of all uh, i am storing capital a as well as its weight and after that you have to increment a 65 to 66 that means in 66 as key value of 66 is b so you have to store a b as a key and its weight as a value okay so now i think it's uh, the code will run fine okay so you can see that uh, the our string is wipro limited and the uh, string is now splitted into two uh, one is wipro and another is limited okay and the weight of wipro is 26 and weight of uh, weight of the word limited is 27 and the weight of the string is multiplication of this two uh, weight of this two word wipro into limited and 26 into 7 is equal to 182 okay so this is the output and now and this is the code